This morning's deadly shooting is the third in as many days. Another happened just yesterday at a home off Commercial Avenue in North Portland. Police say they are holding a man involved and they are not looking for anyone else. And on Friday night, just before 8, officers found a man who'd been shot dead in the area of Southeast 124th and Powell. So far, there are no details on a shooter. A report released just hours ago by the mayor's office shows a dramatic rise in shootings and murders over the last few years. As Fox 12's Chandler Watkins reports, they've gone up more than 200% from 2019 to 2021. That's really sad and really scary. Saturday afternoon, Portland police blocked off a portion of North Commercial Avenue after a shooting left one man dead, marking Portland's 50th homicide. Saturday morning, the city released a new report showing a sharp increase in gun violence in Portland. Between 2019 and 2021, the city's homicide rate rose over 200 percent, well above national average. The main takeaways from the report, a majority of victims and suspects are involved in gangs and have had previous run-ins with the law, and gun violence disproportionately affects the black community. While only making up 5.9% of Portland's population, 47% of the victims and suspects in homicides and shootings were black, according to this report. The California Partnership for Safe Communities put together this report. It recommends the city focus on individuals that are of the highest risk of being involved in shootings and develop a violence intervention strategy to focus on homicides and shootings in the city. Jennifer Black lives in the Boise neighborhood where the city's latest homicide happened. She says while it's usually quiet, she has noticed a change throughout the city over the years. I think COVID has brought out a lot of unhappiness and, and fear in people, and maybe we're seeing a little bit more of this here in Portland, too. Chandler Watkins, Good Day, Oregon.